Good morning. Somebody told me off the other day, he said, you used to call us gangsters. Good morning, gangsters. <laughs> Kevin here. I hope you're all doing well. Ready to get started. A bit breezy this morning, so my shade keeps disappearing, so it might be a bit warm. I, um, let me show you what I've done. This is from the other day. I took the, took the wood off, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I want to take this off. This piece of wood, it's hard to see. There you go, you can see it now. The sun's shining in it. It's been about 30 hours since I put that up there. So I'm going to take it down and see what it looks like. So that's it all taken off. Look at the front, and that look nice? Those are all my bits and pieces inside, which I'll use again. I'm going to mix up some cement, put it up on on a piece of one of these pieces of wood and then I'm going to push it up into that corner and try to get that and then I'll got the uh, clamps and lock it up and then the same with this side and then I'll try to do a little bit of the sides today before moving back over here so I just got that lot to do now build up the bottom a bit more build this up a bit more so that's all I got to do today and if I got any left I want to build some between this post here and down before the lady goes in. So I'm going to get this my uh, big bucket thing out and mix up some cement and let's get started. Okay, the gangsters. I mix the cement. I got the cement ready. I put, made the board wet. So I'm going to put the back of the board right up in the back corner as far as I can get it. And then I'll put some cement on then put the stick underneath it to hold it and then load the rest along the back Ooh, windy load the back and then try to get that right up in here loaded up right there in the middle loaded up and then now clamp all that up and let it dry so, I'm, and I, so I tried to make this just a little bit stiffer so it won't uh, fall out so easy but you know what I'm thinking just an idea I've got the clamps up there to clamp the wood on. I could drill a hole, put a plug in it, and make a, a conical sort of shape, and then put a screw in it and let it go off, with, make it out of cement, and then screw it into the ceiling, and it'll be a stalactite. What do you think? I think that'd be cool. Put one big one at the back that will hide where the water's coming from, and then t like maybe two small ones. So you have the big one sticking lower, coming down lower, and the two one on the far left far right just for like decoration so you have stalactites in the cave where the water is coming from I think that'd be cool so I'm gonna get started if I don't blow away see what I can get done I'll come back I'm not going to fuss too much here because I don't want to touch the, uh, the wood that's supporting everything. So just a little bit here and then just leave it alone. I think I got it on pretty good. I'm pretty happy. We'll see. You can see the clamps got it and the cement's behind it. 
and it's pouring out the side which means it's grabbing the metal all the way along so when it dries it should stick, stick up there I hope and it just leaves that little bit in the back there which I couldn't quite get in because the woods in the way but I can then do this do the rest of the sides I can do the rest of the sides all the way up into that corner and I think I can I have a little plan in my noodle how to do that so now just gonna have a, a quick drink and get started with that. I have plenty of cement so I'll finish this today for sure So I've got up all the way to the top here, and the wire these things in, that's where the, po the little pipes are going to come out so the water can go down the wall. I'm not sure how it's going to look yet, but I think, you know, the, you put a uh, 90 degree turn on it to come up the wall, turn in, and then come out a little bit and turn down. So um, if I put a piece of wood up behind it and then bring the top in more, it'll make it it'll force the, the water onto the wall and it'll come down but then later I'll make I'll make this a little bit bigger so when the water comes down it hits and then dribbles down in off the wall the same with these here so it's uh, all about art let's go <laughs> Well, 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 another day over. Whew, it's not too bad. It's, I'm just been going for a long time because uh, the wall is very fiddly. Everything now is fiddly, so it takes a while to do it. And you're standing and fiddling, and fa but it's, I'm still enjoying. It's uh, coming along nicely. No surprises today. No uh, scorpions or ants or anything. So uh, I just could have got on with my work. Let me show you what I've done. On this side you can see I put the wood back up. I stacked up a load of cement and pushed it as best I could over into that corner and you can see it started to fall out that side. So it'll go off now and I molded it into here too a little bit so that'll help hold it. So by tomorrow it'll all, I'm hoping that big hole that was there will be all closed up. And I got it right to the end at the back down there. There's still a little bit to do over in that back right corner, which is not going to be a problem. And then this is this side. So why are those pieces of wood sticking out? Well, that's where some of the water is going to pour out. You can see it's a ridge like that, which is which is what I wanted it to do. What I'm going to do is bring the t the, the um, pipe out. And then I'll, I'll build some obstacles here for it, the water to fall on, which will cause it to splash more as it comes down into the hole. So I'm very, very pleased. And the lady will go there when, she, when it's time. So I think we're officially in summer now here. It's like 30 something degrees each day, but today it's overcast and windy. Well, a strong breeze, which has been very, very nice. Because standing on top, my head's above the wall, so my face has been in the breeze, so, you know, I've sweated, but nowhere near as what I usually do. And I was able to just stand there and work at, you know, 
sort of stomach to chest height. I enjoyed. So that's another phase over. Okay, gangsters, look after yourselves. All the very best. Good night. Buckets of blessings, rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. All the best.